High Warlord Nagentus. Stand behind the boss as he cleaves, spread out. He will throw a spine on a player. It deals around 9,000 damage. Someone will have to click this off of them, and they will get an item in their bags. The boss will go immune. At this point, the person with the spine in their bags throws it at the boss. This will burst the immune shield and deal massive damage to the raid. Make sure the tank is topped up first, then top up the raid. Supremus. Tank the boss where he is, spread out side to side. This phase is a regular tank and spank. He will cast an attack on the highest health melee, so make sure the off tank is there to soak these if the main tank is too low. He will shoot fire out in a single line. Avoid this. Every 60 seconds, he will swap phases. Melee run out early as the boss fixates on a random player. Run away and avoid volcanoes that AoE. Shade of Akame. For this boss, you want your tanks stood here to pick up spawning ads. DPS can ignore these ads and instead focus on the channelers and sorcerers around Akame. You need to kill these before too many of the other ads spawn on your tanks. Once they are all dead, phase 2 will start, which is a 60 second DPS race. Your tanks just need to survive with the ads and your DPS needs to do big damage. Use frost traps and CC to help your tanks if they need it. Taronga Fiend. This boss is a DPS race, so do some damage. Every 30 seconds, a player will get the Shadow of Death debuff. I've linked the mini game link in the description and on screen. What you need to do is just run to the back of the room before the debuff expires. Hit your fifth ability straight away, then just tab target each one, spamming the third ability. This will slow their movement speed up to three times for 10 seconds. Kill them before they reach the boss. Afterwards, you can buff healers with your spirit shield ability and attack the boss with your first ability. You can also assist with other ghosts. Gertrude Blood Boil. For this entire fight, always be behind the boss. Tank the boss here, range split into three groups. The boss will cast Blood Boil on the five furthest players. Rotate this between your three range groups by having one step out until they get the debuff. The boss will do a stacking debuff on the tank. The boss is also untauntable. Try to aim swapping stacks around 10 to 15. After about a minute, the boss will become enraged and fixate on a random player. You need to spam heal this player and survive at all costs. There is no threat in this phase, so just nuke. Keep repeating these phases. Reliquary of Souls. This boss has three mini bosses with an intermission phase in which you kill adds to restore health and mana. Suffering. This phase reduces all healing done. This boss is tanked by proximity fixates every five seconds, so if you need to swap, have another tank move closer. Healers dispel soul drain. Every minute the boss enrages for 15 seconds, have a rogue pop evasion and tank. Desire. This phase increases healing done, drains mana and also reflects half of the damage you deal back to you. The boss will cast spirit shock. You need to interrupt this. Make sure you spell steel rune shield. Every minute it will cast dead in. If you have a warrior tank, spell reflect this and you'll get a big DPS boost. Anger. This phase is a stacking shadow damage aura that increases shadow damage taken. Stand behind the boss. The tank needs to keep their rage or mana as low as possible. DPS race this down, but avoid over aggroing so you don't have to deal with another mechanic. Mother Shaharas. Your raid needs some shadow resist gear for this. Tank the boss where you like, but split your ranged and melee. They can stack up underneath statues and lights so you don't get knocked up too far. You need three tanks in front of the boss. Every now and then, three players will be teleported away, connected by beams. Run away from each other to break these. Everything else in this fight, you just need to heal through. I mean, I can go into more detail, but it's just damage. If, if I did that, I'd just be padding the video like every other YouTube game. Oh, there's 30 seconds. Illudery Council. These bosses share health, your main focus will be the Paladin. You can tank him with the Rogue, kite him around the room to avoid consecration, you want a warrior tank to reflect judgments. Have your off tank tank the priest, have two physical interrupters and two magical interrupters, as the priest will sometimes become immune to either. Prioritize interrupts on heals. Have a mage tank the mage boss far away and spell steal dampen magic. Watch out for blizzards and flame strikes on the ground.
Illudden. Face the boss away from the raid, the tank wants to have active mitigation up for every shear. The boss will flame crash on the tank, move out of this, run away when you get Parasitic Shadow Fiend and kill the adds that spawn before they get to any other players. At 65%, Phase 2 begins. Have your group set up like this to reduce AoE damage. Two fire elementals will spawn where the glaives land. You want to tank on each facing the way from the raid. Move them out of the fire, but keep them close to the Warglaive location, otherwise they enrage. Watch out for I-Beam. Phase 3 is the same as Phase 1, just spread out as you can get a debuff that deals AoE damage. Every 40 seconds, the boss will swap to a demon form and drop threat. You need a warlock tank to pick him up. Adds will spawn at the boss, which will fixate random players. Kill them before they reach their respective players. At 30%, Maeve shows up. This is the same as Phase 3, except the boss will enrage every now and then. You can kite him over traps to dispel the enrage. Go on, kill that boss. 